All right, everyone. I'm happy to be with you today to celebrate the Global Youth Summit as Goodwill Ambassador of Joint United Nations Program on HIV and AIDS or UNAIDS. I am privileged to speak with you about sustainable development goals on good health and well-being, specifically on the ongoing disparities in the context of HIV and AIDS. I promise you, this will be very interesting. The Philippines has still the fastest growing epidemic in Asia and the Pacific. From 2010 to 2022, there has been 419% increase in new infections. The country leads among the six neighboring countries in Asia and the Pacific with increasing trend of new infections against a global trend of decreasing new HIV infections. Ibig sabihin sa Pilipinas tumataas, globally bumababa. So that is really a problem. If this trend continues, there will be 401,700 people living with HIV by 2030. The HIV epidemic in the Philippines is mostly happening to us, to the youth. Cumulatively, since 1984, 80% of diagnosed cases were among those below 35 years old. That yun. Diagnosed HIV cases now are getting younger with the age shift from 35 to 49 years old in the beginning of the year 2000 to 25 to 34 years old since 2006. And based on new projections, by the end of 2023, 47% of estimated new infections will be coming from the age group of 15 to 24 years old. The Philippines has a concentrated epidemic, meaning the HIV infections are happening to certain groups of people such as males who have sex with males, transgender women, people who inject drugs, sex workers, and the young key populations. Sexual contact is predominantly the mode of transmission Males who have sex with males, or MSMs, are disproportionately affected by HIV. In fact, 8 out of 10 diagnosed cases are amongst males who have sex with males. And among MSMs, the younger groups are more vulnerable to HIV infection. You may wonder why new infections are mostly happening to young people. The fast-changing sexual behavior among the young people coupled by a lack of correct information on HIV prevention and transmission places the youth in more risk. It's so important to start it here or even at schools and small communities and this age group because this has a ripple effect. When you go home, you'll share this to somebody you know, to somebody you live with, to a friend or a person you're in a relationship with. And then that person will then pass that knowledge on to someone else. So if you feel like, oh well, I don't really think it's gonna be so impactful kasi tayo tayo lang naman ang nandito. No, this is knowledge that you will absorb, you take in, and when you leave here, you you are the messenger, kumbaga. So you will continue the, the, the talk on HIV and AIDS. So, um, I really think it, that it's important that we have events like this consistently and continually. So, mental health, this is another topic that unfortunately medyo tabo pa rin sa Pilipinas. Um, nakakahiyang umamin to someone close with, to your parents, to, I mean, even at home, nakakahiyang umamin that you're not okay. And sometimes you don't even, in denial ka rin, that hindi ka rin aminado na di ka okay. But what I want everybody to know is that 
even for somebody who looks like they got all, it, all of it figured out, everybody's going through something. It's so important that you take care of yourself because no one will do that for you. There are people who are going to be out there to give a, you know, a, a listening ear, a helping hand when you need it. But then you have to ask for it. The thing is, I always say this, wag niyong kimkimin, wag niyong itago, wag niyong solohin. Magsabi kayo, reach out to someone um, if you can. And if, if you feel naman na if you have a feeling na meron kong kakilala or kaibigan na parang hindi okay, may pinagdadaanan, you know, a simple kumusta can do wonders. Like, that will make a person open up and you could even be saving their lives. Like, you just, you can't tell anymore. Like, people, you know, they show up, they show up, they put a smile on their face, they get their whole day done, but you don't know what they're carrying inside. So. Taking care of your mental health is also very important. It also really connected to HIV and AIDS because somebody who is living with HIV also has now to deal with um, the mental health aspect of it. So, if you feel like mental health, ano, sa mga it, it happens to everybody. Walang mini feeling age group yan, um, financial status in life. Baba, or sexual orientation or gender, walang pinipilin. Babae, lalaki, anyone in between, matanda, baga, lahat may pinagdadaanan. So, uh, taking care of your mental health, I mean, there's so many ways. I feel like it's such a personal thing too, kasi baka naman, eh, we, we all have a way of coping, right? But it's important that you find healthy ways of coping, and you reach out to someone, but also know when to ask a person, Uy, okay ka lang ba? That's also really powerful. Joining us here on stage as well is Mr. Royston Cabunia from SM Cares, Mr. Alexis Ortiga, VP for SM Commercial Property Group, and Mr. In an orderly manner. You know, we are giving. Please stand up. 